You've probably seen one of these before. It's a keyless chuck, and it's what you use to grip down onto your drill bits or driver bits with on a drill. I took this one off of this drill here, to which I attach the propeller directly to the shaft here. So I want to take this guy apart and see how it works. All right. All right, so I've gotten the chuck taken apart here, but before we get to that, I want to show you what's going on on paper here so we can identify the parts when we take it apart because it's a little hard to see. So we've got our I've sawed down the chuck down the middle here and we've got our jaws here they tighten down on whatever we want to grip right here which might be a drill bit or a driver bit something like that and this is how they do that this is part of the drill here and then this is a nut which runs around the outside now if you think when you tighten down a nut on a bolt the direction is usually down the axis of rotation in this case when you tighten this nut the movement of the bolt is at an angle, not down the axis of rotation. It, the movement is down like this and up like this. Very interesting. And you can see the thread isn't flat here, but it's also at an angle. It's pretty cool. So when you turn the nut, these two jaws move in and grip whatever's in between here. So now let's take it apart. We've got, we've got the jaws up front here. And I'm going to take this off. This is that nut, and hopefully you can see the threads in there, which engage the jaws. You can see the, the threads in here. Also interesting to note is this thrust bearing right here. When you're tightening down the chuck, you're moving the jaws that direction, down the slope to tighten down on whatever you're tightening. And that means that you're getting a force the opposite direction on the nut right here, the thing that you're tightening. So this thrust bearing helps this nut move a little easier when it gets under load. I'm going to actually pop out one of the jaws so you can see it to take this off. Here it comes. Dun 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 dun. There's the jaw. So you can see the threads right on it there. And then the tapered in like this. So this is how this is the movement and that's how it grips down on your your drill bit. So here's another keyless chuck. This one's a lot bigger. It has the same jaws, same action. But this has this cool feature that if you have this in your machine and your drill bit gets stuck, the drill bit's going to put a big torque in the opposite direction of rotation. And what happens in this case is it tightens. When you get a torque which might dislodge the drill bit, it, it tightens its grip on the drill bit, which is a pretty cool feature. It's really smart. Here's a keyed chuck. You have to use a key to tighten it. Well, you can do it by hand, I suppose, but the key allows you to tighten down a lot to get more, a lot more torque. And that's because of the gear reduction of the key to the sleeve here. It's about three to one in this case, which means you get a three times torque advantage from what you, you're putting out of your hand to what the collar is putting out on the jaws. Pretty cool.